Back in the Cisco kitchen, it is National Cheese Lovers Day, and no better time to bring in the first family of Idaho cheese than the Ballard family. Steve Ballard of Ballard Family Cheese is with us today. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Thanks for you? joining us in the Cisco kitchen. We're doing all right, and you brought in quite a spread here this yes. morning. We're going to get to some of this coming up a little bit later on Good Morning Correct. Idaho. But you, we got a sample during the commercial break of something amazing <laughs> that you have going on. It's very unique. Yep. So. On our farm, a few years back, we developed this cheese. It's a, it's a, um, something out of the ordinary. It's, it, well, yeah, it's, it's a halloumi type cheese. So what, now, what does that mean? <laughs> well, cheese is, has different styles like Swiss, cheddar, yeah. Gouda. Okay, so halloumi is just another style of cheese. Okay. All right. So traditionally, it's made out of sheep's milk in Cyprus. Okay. And so what we did is we worked on our farm to get it familiar with our cows and and learn how to make it with our cow's milk that we make that we use on the farm and so, so it takes a lot of science going into it. you said oh, it was a few years yeah. that it took oh yeah that, right yeah it took a few years so what um what we're going to do today is we're going to make a um a low carb girl cheese sandwich okay uh, okay sans bread so, <laughs> so yeah i was going to say no how, do you, how do you have this low carb when you have when you have bread is there not bread in this there sandwich is no bread in this interesting. sandwich so it's gluten free okay <laughs> so this cheese when you put it on your grill it won't melt it's amazing unmeltable yeah. cheese yeah so it's it's the process that it goes through it's the style of cheese so this cheese actually dates back to the roman empire it's one of the oldest cheeses on record so this cheese, of course, is very fresh. <laughs> you brought it in studio, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it hasn't been around for. Two but the years. recipe <laughs> dates back a long time. Yeah, and so you know, traditionally back then they didn't have refrigeration, so it's fairly a salty cheese. Okay, and salt's what you use for a preservative. Yeah, but in a, in our learning to make it, you know, we lowered the salt content of the cheese by a. 100% compared to what it normally would be. Good. So another healthy aspect of yeah. it as well, taking yeah. out some of the salt. So, but we wanted to have that salt flavor in there, so that's in there. So this is a really fun cheese. As you can see, you can put it on the on the grill and it won't melt at all. So if this so. is acting as our bread, what kind of cheese are you going to put inside, inside this sandwich? Yeah. So I had uh, contacted uh, Jay on uh, um, Twitter, uh -huh. and his said he said his favorite cheese was a uh, aged cheddar. Nice. So this cheddar that we have here. It's kind of a special cheddar. We only have it once in a great while. And so this is actually made in 07. So the cheddar was. Yeah. yeah, the cheddar's actually about seven years old. And so. And you're using it on this sandwich? And we're going to put it on the sandwich today. Just for you guys to so taste. So it kind of, it grills it though, but it's not melting it at all. Yeah, it won't. It, it's just like, you can use it just like a, a, meat, a steak, kind of a right? meat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no way. it's really cool. It doesn't melt at all. And sometimes uh, bringing in an electric skillet is the best way to go as well. Let's get some of that cheese in there and see if we can yeah, uh, yeah. shut that together. Sandwich. A, a breadless sandwich, this everybody. A breadless Good morning, sandwich. Idaho. Yeah. And of course, the cheddar is going to melt like we're used to. And grilled cheeses are one of my favorite meals, so this is something definitely very unique. And as you're finishing that up, Steve, I just like I, I said, I wanted to point out these uh, platters and all the varieties you guys have. We're going to come back on uh, Fox 9 for the next hour of Good Morning Idaho. Talk more about the stuff that we see over here as well, because you guys have a whole lot to offer. Not just these two types, right? Right. So, all right. right. We, we, we actually make about six different hard cheeses on the farm that my son, uh, Travis, is our cheese maker. Yeah. And so, um, so we're going to talk about those then when we come we'll back. We'll talk about looks those. Like the it looks finishing so up. Steve. Yep, it's finished. All right, thanks so much so for making that. So now we just got to get it out of the pan. Yeah, and start <laughs> eating it. Yeah. That's what we're here for, right? <laughs> Good morning, Idaho. You saw us earlier over on Today Six with Steve Ballard. He's back in the Cisco kitchen once again. Welcome back, Steve. Thanks Welcome. for joining us this morning. Thank you, you. You brought in quite an awesome display of cheese, and uh, earlier we had a breadless. Grilled cheese sandwich because it's National Cheese Lovers Day. And boy, you love cheese, don't you? Oh, I love cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and he's very knowledgeable at, about cheese, too. He's got all sorts of information. You've developed a lot of these cheeses at your own dairy farm. Yes, we have, yeah. Cheese is a, a unique, um, when you're processing it, it takes on the environment that it's made in. So you get, there's a lot of cheese plants throughout Idaho making different style of cheeses and stuff. But they can all be making cheddar, but that cheddar is not going to be tasting the same from each plant. Each plant's going to have its own identity because of the milk they use, because of how, what the environment is in the plant. And so cheese takes on different flavors. And that's what the great thing about it is cheese is, if you want a natural experience for food, cheese is one of the best experiences because you get to experience so many 
nuances. So yeah. Just, what, it's just soaking it in. And you brought a lot yeah. of those different nuances today. Yeah. I understand that you guys actually distribute here locally as well. Are, are these some of those cheeses that you distribu distribute? Yes. Um, we, we distribute through the Treasure Valley. Um, probably 80% of our market is Idaho. So we're our Idaho cheese. Um, when we started making cheese, we wanted to brand Idaho. So you'll see a lot of our cheeses have Idaho on their name. Um, take, take us through some of these and, and, okay. and describe the flavors. So the white cheddar um, is basically a, it's, it's a medium style cheddar and it has the rich flavor from our milk. So is that the one you put in front there? Yeah, Try that's the one. one we just spun around to the front. All right. This is an awesome and little so plate you have, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> and so when you, when you experience cheese, you want to experience the richness of the milk what yeah. the cows have. So when we're making cheese, he makes it a little bit more, uh, my son's a cheese maker. He, he's the one that runs the cheese plant. He, he wants those nuances to come out, those flavors to be there for And him. the texture too. This one's got yeah. a nice texture that's right. a little bit harder than other cheddars I've right. had, but it's good. I love well, it. And a, as you eat, as cheese ages, cheese starts out really young. So if you would have tried the cheese curd, it's going to be really rubbery, squeaky, salty. I love the squeaky cheese. It's yeah. so fun to eat. And then now you now that cheese there that you just had is six months later. Yeah, there's and definitely a difference between yeah. the two of them. Yeah. What, what else do you have on that platter? And so we have our uh, our pepper cheddar, which has jalapenos in it. Yeah. Um, it's a really nice, uh, rich flavor. We have uh, Idaho Danish Pearl, which is a Gouda-style cheese that we make on the farm. So it has the nuance and the richnesses of, of that culture. I'm gonna have to go for this one as well. This so. is the this is the Gouda style <laughs> yeah. one, right? Yeah. You wanna try one? Well, I wanna try it. Perfect Actually, okay. I guess really we need to cleanse palates, right? That's right. why you have the grapes. Oh. Kinda Correct. <laughs> yeah. Any anytime what you wanna do with cheese is you wanna get it about an hour before you serve it. You wanna bring it out, you wanna let it warm up. Interesting. To room temperature. So you can get those nuances and flavors of the cheese. And then when you're tasting cheese, you wanna you wanna be able to cleanse your palate in between. So you want some type of a fruit. Or something, and then, and then you can work the cheese through your palate. Fresh, and a fresh go at it yeah, the next fresh time. Yeah, fresh go next time. Yeah, Gouda and style, so delicious. And we're going to mm -hmm. post information about Ballard Family Cheese at IdahoOnYourSide.com because you guys have so many options available. Very, Thanks so much, Steve. Yeah, great information this morning. Steve. Thank you.